Why I do? Ford Maverick? Uh, I can't say I own such a car, officer. Catch me if you can! to the wanted driver. Let's steal him. But boss, we'll get thrown in the slammer if the cops catch us with these stolen cars. And worse, they'll clear the wanted driver's name. And besides, they're brand new cars. They're both 1971 models. Don't be a coward. Take the Ford Maverick. I'll take the Black Plymouth. Okay, boss, but don't blame me if we're thrown in the slammer. Somebody stole my Ford Maverick and Black Plymouth GTX! Oh, I'm gonna get these thieves for this! Wait, I almost forgot my Mustang! Mach 1! I'll take that and clear my own name for that. Nineteen fifty nine Cadillac Eldorado, parked near empty garage. Nobody inside the car. No weapons either. Not even a gun. Those are the guys who stole my cars! Guess I have to bump them. Sorry, car. I'm bored. Let's go to the donut shop. I don't believe it. It's that crap box Ford again. Wait. Here comes another one. It's a... Black Plymouth, a third one. Yellow Mustang Mach 1 1970. Let's get them, and look them. Oh no! The fuzz! This will slow them down! No! Not my car, my dear! I'll be with you as soon as I'm done investigating a 59 caddy park near an empty garage. Okay, I'm coming. Hold your horses, I'll be right there. my name all right. I'm gonna have it clear even though I have to turn in my own two previous cars. I'm sorry, I didn't do this, cars. Aha! Uh -huh. This dude thinks he's gonna save his cars by totaling them. Come on. 
GTX. No way. Oh, you're gonna have to ram me and my partner off the road. Oh, I'll ram you off the road, all right. Hey, buddy. I want to drive around my left. Oh, if you fuck him and hit your brakes so hard, you'll end up smashing his car into you. Roger. We'll see about that. Hey, no fear. Well, look, you have to be a little solution with these guys. Sir, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I'm really innocent. These are the two guys that framed me. That's right, officer. But there's no time to explain. We gotta stop these two cars at all costs. What with me? Sorry, boss. I was just looking at the damage done to this 1968 AMC AMX police car. Don't worry, I'm coming. I've got a plan to blow these two geeks off the road once and for all. I'll have them smash into me, and both their cars will be totally undrivable. To do this, I'll slam on my brakes. You back me up in case anything goes wrong, okay? Roger! Except driven your last cars. Whoa! Oh no! We're gonna crash! Oh no! We're lost it! I told you this would happen! I'm sorry, I wish I never got into the crime business. You better be sorry, because you two are absolutely under arrest for framing this dude here, whose name I have cleared for him. Step away from the cars, and place your hands in the air! Wow, it's so good to be out of the slammer. Breaking out was easier than I thought. But there's just one problem. Where's our Cadillac? There, over there, boss. Our Cadillac is in the impound yard. No, don't run across the street. You'll get hit by a car. Let's break into one of these cars here and drive it to the impound yard. But, boss, it's one thing to steal a civilian car. But if we steal either military or emergency vehicles, that's going too far. Impersonating police officers is a federal offense. We're better off just returning to our cell. Shut up, you baby. Help me find a car and steal it. No, not that one. Not that one either. No, not that one. Ah, ah. Let's take this old, beat up fire chief car. Door's locked. Guess I'll have to break the window. <laughs> get in the car. But boss, shut up and get in the car. Sir, do you have the keys? Do I look like a locksmith to you? No, I don't have the keys. Let me hotwire this thing. Now, off to the impound yard. In reverse. Hold on tight. Those maniacs almost caused me to crash. If they do that again, I'm calling the police on them. Look what you did to this thing. You wrecked it. You idiot. This is not our car. Great, if the cops find out the damage done to this car, the fines are coming out of our bread. They're not gonna catch us, so stop whining like a baby. Those idiots 
are gonna make me late for dinner tonight. You want dinner? Eat my dust. I'm here, what's up? Driver, the situation is grave. You know that you crooks we had arrested two months ago? Yeah. Why, did they break out? Yes, they did. Last night, at 23 o'clock hours, those two crooks managed to break out of their cell. Later, they broke into the old fire chief car and backed it up into the impound yard across the street, almost causing a woman to crash her beloved Carmandia in the process. They later wrecked the red car and got away in their impounded 1959 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. The Carmandia witness later told us cops about this. However, we are not accusing you again as not to make the same mistake twice. We have selected you to stop these crooks and put them in a federal prison, no matter how long it takes. Here's a radio for you, just in case you need backup. Understood? Understood. And hey, thanks for the radio! Driver, wait. We almost forgot. We got a siren for you as well. Nice! Can I go now? Okay, driver. Sorry if we're keeping you too long. Get out of here and stop them! Got it! Here I go! I just heard on CBS radio about our breakout and get away. We must not give away our position. The cops are now searching for us 24-7. You said it, boss! We must proceed with extreme caution. Ah, uh, boss, I just spotted the yellow Mustang far behind us. I don't believe it. It's that driver who got us arrested. He's spying on us. Sir, we've got to get out of here and find another hiding place. Fasten your seatbelt, because this is gonna be a lumpy ride. They see me. Ah, what the heck, I can still chase them. He's chasing us! Get back here! You're mine, Brooks! You are not getting away! Hey! Stop bumping me! These are not bumper cars! You ruined my car by doing that! Why don't you pull over? What do you want, driver? Listen, boys. You can either pull over, or have your caddy rammed off the road. No choice. Neither. You can't choose neither. Pick one or the other. How about a deadly game of chicken? That, I don't mind doing. You first. Roger that. Score and it's super me! No, you started it. You are my own. Guys, put the victory. It's not you to our fault. It's that 59 caddy who is speeding. Let me handle him. Got your backup now. This guy should pursue up that 59 caddy. You don't need that. Where is my backup? I need it now. Watch him leave. The driver, we're busy eating our recently old donuts. I think helping the innocent driver is more important than these donuts we're eating. Everyone to your cars!
Man, are you okay? Nothing broken? I'm fine, officer. I'm just distraught after that accident that crap box Cadillac caused me. Don't worry, man. I'm sure your auto insurance covers that kind of damage to your car. But now, let us catch this runway 59 Cadillac. You know what, officer? You're right. I'm in good hands with all state auto insurance. Car chases. Typical. Those cops look like they are gonna need some help over there. Especially after those maniacs in that Cadillac almost caused me to wreck my car. Come on, baby. Let's go get some. Come on. Come on. Start. Boss, we've got to lose that mail. The entire police department is after us. Don't worry about it. There's still some surprises left to this baby. Boss, we're trapped. There's no way out other than driving off the cliff. Watch the master and learn. You will see that I'm right, but you are complaining too much. After him! Get him now! There's nowhere to let him on. Surrender yourselves. You two in that 59K, you are completely surrounded. Surrender yourself at once. Sure, there's no way we can get out. We're cut off now. No problem. You see that man over there? We're gonna jump it. Boss, are you crazy? It's suicide to do that. Listen, you moron. This caddy still has some strength left in her. Watch how I do these tricks, and when you learn, you won't get hurt or busted when you master these stunts. It will take some practice. Watch me do a burnout. Here we go. Place yourself. Here it comes. Get ready. Get ready. You're not gonna get away with this. They're gonna pay for the near accident they caused me last night. No, ma'am. Wait. No. Let us handle it. Sorry, driver. I have no other option. I must get back at these punks. Good brother, there's a car with you chasing us. That's ridiculous. There's no way Volkswagen can keep up with a souped up 59 Cadillac like this one. I've got some metal nails to throw out the back to blow out the tires of that crap box feet of you. You might guess to go for it. <laughs> I told you we were not gonna get caught. Do I have to do everything myself? I don't believe it. There's nails on the road! Ma'am, you okay? Nothing broken? I'm fine, driver. I'm just shaking up by the flat tire I got. Don't worry, ma'am. You, uh, actually helped us where the nails were. Let us handle this Cadillac. Crap, he's nowhere in sight. Looks like we'll have to let him go until he comes back. We made it. We're out of town. Let's go camping somewhere in another city where we can cause chaos. Yeah, boss, but it really hurts me to say goodbye to the city we used to live in. I'm gonna miss the city. What do you mean by that? Well, it's like this. I've been living in Shelton with you ever since I was born. You were a very good and protective brother to me. And yes, you still are. But now, I just realized that you tricked me into being a bad guy. I want to be a good guy now. I'm getting tired of being a crook, bank robber, even mother. I don't want to do any more of this crap. What are you talking about? I thought you liked being dead. I used to. I just had a flashback of our origins. What about our origins? Well, it goes like this. We were separated from our parents at the age of 10 in July 1959. We were at an amusement park of some sort. 
I forgot the name of the place, but anyway, after drinking a lot of juices in the motorhome, because we were always thirsty at the time, we had to go to the bathroom. Our parents found a nearby room for us and told us they would wait outside for us. After we did our business, we went outside to reunite with mom and dad, only to find out that they were gone. We went crazy trying to find them, until we saw what had become of them. They were tied up by these crooks who were disguised as cops. They told us that our parents were convicted criminals when they were really innocent. They forced us to be bad guys ourselves and tricked us into thinking that the cops were our enemy. This car we're driving in is the last remnants of our family. That's the saddest story I've ever heard. I miss our parents. Hey big brother, heads up. We're running out of gas. No! Don't do this! Please! Come on! Come on! Start! Crap! No, yes! Not even a pint of it! Now what do we do? Double crap! We're in the middle of nowhere! Not only that, but there is no gas station anywhere near here! Hey brother, I just remembered that we had forgotten about a can of extra gasoline in our trunk. Oh yeah, that's right. What are we sitting around here for? Let's fuel back up and head back to cause more trouble. Wait a minute, I thought we were going somewhere else. I changed my mind. But boss, we will get caught if we return. You idiot, quit whining, because we are not gonna get caught. Get in the car. Come on, come on, start! Boss, I was just kidding when I said I wanted to give up my friend business. That's the kind of story that I like to hear. You're cooperating with me now. We're just the kind of drivers who like to drive crazy and cause accidents involving other people's wheels. Here he comes. You're not gonna land that roadblock, are you? Yes, I am. You and us, but we're okay. After him. Maybe fighting the tires on. Stop them. Grab the wheel. I'll flatten the tire of that cop car with my shotgun. Those books just ruined the good tire of my car. Who lost the car? We've got a flat tire! The suspects are still not in control and are ready to get busted! I'm alright, don't worry. Oh no! We have no tires! Get him sandwiched and we're busted! This isn't what it looks like. Bookum. If I can explain dry- Bookum. But driver, you- Bookum! You two, step away from the car and heads on your head. 